What's up, cheese heads? Peach here from Peach's Cheeses. Uh, today we got a recipe peach. So I'm gonna show you how to make uh, macaroni and cheese with a little peach twist. So I'm gonna put some smoked Gruyere in there and um, a couple of other surprises. So uh, all the ingredients will be in the description below. And before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and smash those buttons if you can. Um, on your computer, uh, leave me a comment below, and uh, let's get started. So I got the uh, water boiling already, a bag of uh, other macaroni, and get that water boiling, but first uh, we're going to grate some of this cheese. So I need some sharp cheddar. So let's get greedy. This gruyere is left over from the first episode of Peach Cheese that I recorded. I think I rated it a three out of five. Like I said, it's from a company called Smoky Park. Smoked Gruyere and um, got a real nice smoke on it. It melts really well. So we're gonna pop this in that macaroni and cheese. I think the recipe calls for about two cups, but you know, Pete loves his cheese. So we're just gonna put in as much cheese as possible. Take a look at this. All that smoked Gruyere. So an important thing to know about this recipe is that it's got its, a secret ingredient and you're not gonna find this ingredient anywhere else. It's not in any other macaroni and cheese recipe. I peach guarantee that. And you can only find it here. So I'm gonna show you right now. And when you make this recipe for people and they love it, don't tell them what the secret ingredient is. Send them right here so they can watch Peach make it. And uh, yeah. Okay, you ready? Here's the secret ingredient. So this just gives you that little extra mysterious oomph to the macaroni and cheese. It's gonna really add some depth to the flavor. Um, it's really gonna bring out all the other flavors that we're put, putting in here. And people are never gonna guess that you put this ingredient in the macaroni and cheese. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. So, but hey, that's how I roll. You guys, y'all know me. Right. So, anyway, let's get popping. Water's almost boiling. Um, we're gonna get the uh, the other, this, we're gonna get the sauce going. So, first you, you need fourth cup of butter. Chop that, put it in the saucepan. Fourth cup of butter. In the, in the pan. Turn that on low, get that melting. Okay, okay. the macaroni's boiling, so come on, let's pop that in. Okay, now that the butter's all melted, we're gonna put in a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, Grinds a pep. No big deal. And I'm gonna stir that. Make sure that's we're gonna put in two cups of milk. One at a time, stir it up. A little secret about the peach. Uh, actually, I only use lactose-free milk because uh, lactose intolerant over here. So uh, a lot of people don't know that, but um, cheese doesn't bother me. Thank goodness. But um, milk and ice cream—they uh, really bother the peach. So I try to avoid those and use lactose-free milk whenever I can. The good news is 
humans don't really even need lactose. Uh, that's a myth. So you can just lactose free milk tastes just the same as regular milk. A lot of people are afraid of it. A lot of people think it tastes weird, but that's just a bunch of BC. And uh, just give it a try. You'll like it. I mean, like I said, you don't need that lactose anyway, so don't listen to the haters. And this is the second cup of milk. So make sure, sure this is nice and mixed up. And uh, in just a minute, we're gonna put in the cheese, so stay tuned. Bubbling a little bit, and it's smooth, so we're gonna add in that grated Gruyere, smoked Gruyere, sorry. And that's gonna give it a, uh, guess what, a little bit of a smoky flavor. So the cheddar's melted. Both of the cheeses are melted in there. They're combined. It's be smelling great. And now I'm gonna add in that secret ingredient that we talked about. <laughs> That's so crazy. And you would never think to put that in macaroni and cheese, like I said. So that's just between you and me. Tell your friends to like and subscribe Beej's Cheeses too, and then they can find out. But until then, or hey, you don't even have to tell me. You don't have to tell them to put. So we've got the cheddar in there, we've got the smoker here. But hey, I'm not done adding cheese. The macaroni. Uh, elbow macaroni just came off the boil, drained it, and we're getting ready to dump this in. Let's do it. So now we're going to add our cheese sauce to the boiled macaroni. Look at that. Look at that creamy, cheesy goodness. Let's get a little bit. Four, four. But I'm not done adding cheese. Oh no. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Kerrygold double nut. Almost like a parm. And I'm gonna shred a little bit of that on top. I'm gonna review this cheese in an upcoming episode, so stay tuned for that. And just a little bit. Or a lot, if you know what I mean. So what do you say? Give us a taste. Hmm. That's really good. Super smoky. Super cheesy. Just the way I like it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Like I said, like and subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, leave a comment, check out the recipe below, and uh, see you next time on Peaches Cheeses. This has been an episode of Recipe Peach.